Hello all, I'm Lenny Rhodes, owner of Mix Cosmetics. I make custom organic makeup, skincare, and body care. Today, it's gonna be making makeup. I've been trying to make a few making videos, and so just show you the process a little bit. And so today, I thought I would show you how I color the everything cream. It's the everything all day optimizing cream. I've talked about a lot of the ingredients. I've talked about a lot of the what it can, what I can turn it into, but I'm actually turning it into foundation. So this is going to be for me because I have a sad reality for all of you. I was in Mexico a few weeks back and I went from my winter foundation shade to my summer foundation shade. And I ran out of my winter foundation shade right before I left. But I'm now back to winter foundation, or I need to be back to winter foundation shade, or at least mixing the two for probably a week, and then I'll be all the way back to my winter shade. And I know it's March, which is really sad that I am gonna be my winter shade for another couple months, more than likely, because I live in the cold, frozen north. And so at least until May, probably, it's usually more like July. So. This is some of the Everything Cream base. So this I can use completely untinted. I can put it on my skin. And then if I add a few things, I can use it like foundation. So here we go. I've got titanium dioxide. And I'm gonna put, this is about half a batch of what I would normally make just cause I don't ever make myself a full batch of anything. And so here we go, one, and titanium dioxide is what gives coverage and what basically gives the whitening. And so titanium dioxide in my base there. And then I gotta add some color because if I just put this on, actually maybe I'll stir it up and put it on and show you. Oh, I forgot a spoon. I forgot a spoon. Oh my goodness, the world is not gonna end. I've got some right here. Okay, and by spoon, I actually mean popsicle stick. Most useful spoon ever. Okay, so I am going to stir that together and just see how it's going right in. And it does not take very long to stir this stuff. I love it, It the color, the all of the things are oil soluble. And since this is an oil-based foundation that doesn't feel like an oil-based foundation, Let's see if it's white enough here. And this is mine, so I don't have to keep it clean or do anything special with it. Okay, there is how white it is. There's how much coverage it's gonna offer. I always do this at the wrong angle. What is wrong with me? Okay, so that feels pretty good. Maybe a little bit more, just a little bit more coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add like three quarters of a scoop. There is the coverage now for color. So, I'm going to add, I'm actually pretty neutrally toned, so this is my warm grind, and I am going to add, nope, oh, wrong one. Back in the container. I'm going to add a pinch of this, these spoons, have names, they're a dash and a pinch and a smidgen and a drop and tad, super cute, makes it just way more fun. And then, so I added a pinch, a slightly largish pinch of the warm and I'm gonna add kind of a skinny dash of the cool and we'll see how that is. We'll see if that is going to be a better color match to what I've got. So I love doing this. This is really satisfying because it starts out all white and then as you blend it in, you start getting the color kind of coming up the side and it just feels fun, right? So here it is, starting to take shape, still needs to be stirred. And we'll see if 
I added enough color. I don't remember my color grind. I actually didn't look at it before this. Lots of prep going, in, going into this, right? Well, I got all the ingredients except the spoon. And so I think it might be a little bit light, probably because I added more coverage. So here is the color. Let's zoom too light. And so I'm going to add just a teeny bit more. I'm going to add like a third of a pinch of the warm. I just feel like it's a slightly stronger color grind. And so I almost always add a little less of the warm than I do of the cool. And a half a pinch of, oh, yep, that looks good. All right. So now, what do you think? That's a better color. So I'm going to put it on. Yeah, it's all, oh, there's this little, I can see that little section there that needs to be blended in. But oh, look how nice and even it is. So we're going to take this on the end of the stick and check that on my wrist. Oh, look, I can't see it. So now let's move to my face. Putting foundation on, on camera. How is that? Oh, it's still just a teeny touch light because of the coverage that I put in there. So teeny touch light, but not too light. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to do that same amount because I think that was just about the right addition of coverage. So here we go. A little bit of that. And a little bit of that. And stir, 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 stir. If I edited, then these would be all sped up. All the stirring stuff would be sped up and then you wouldn't have to be bored watching, but it's still just so satisfying to stir. Alrighty. So we can see that that's just a little bit light. How about this side? Oh yeah, look at that, blends in nicely. Looks better with my chin. I was seeing that orange line. Okay, what do we think? Oh, I've got kind of a weird shadow on this side. But there, I'm looking at the camera instead of, or looking at my screen instead of the camera. But there we go. Yeah, that is my winter shade. And it's funny because this one goes on, it looks a little bit oily. And then as it sets, you'll actually see that it gets less and less oily and it helps absorb oil. So there we go. There is my new foundation. That looks like it matches my neck really well. So mixing foundation. There it is, or mixing the everything cream, the uh, liquid foundation rather than the loose mineral. So maybe I'll do the loose mineral here next time. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. We'll have a great day.